So you guys might be thinking that it has been a week and this lad has not yet come up with a video. Well, I have been working on this for the past week and believe me when I say this, I have been relishing this a lot. I agree with one of the best reviewers on the YouTube platform that the HTC U Ultra might just be a poor use of space but the 10 was not and the HTC Sense UI is definitely not. Perhaps one of the most intuitive mods ever, this gives you a pretty large chunk of the HTC 10 that perhaps one of the most successful phones of the dying company on a device that you own. And believe me, this chunk is quite large. So what are we waiting for? Shall we not get started yet? Enjoy the music! So this method is gonna work on any Android device, yeah, yeah, any Android device, you heard me right? Uh, basically this is a HTC UI experience zip just like the pixel experience that you experienced a few months ago before the launch of the pixel or even after the launch of the pixel but this is gonna work on any Android device irrespective of the Android version that you are running uh, it can work on the Mi UI it can work on a Samsung device anything or even better stock Android so link for this will be given in the description box below that's just a zip file so I'll be showing you how to get all these features so if you are running a Xiaomi phone power of your device press the volume up button and the power button as you know together to boot into DWRP recovery and do remember that for these kind of procedures you need root and you of course if you have root then you need to have a custom recovery like DWRP recovery installed like I have it in this case so let's boot into DWRP recovery so as you can see we are into TWRP recovery and basically from here we need to flash a zip link for which will be given in the description box below I don't know why I'm repeating it go to install and select wherever you have stored the downloaded zip file so let me find it so as you can see HTC Sense UI experience release 1 that's basically what you need to flash um, I am not gonna flash it, uh, but I'm gonna just show you how to flash it. You need to select it and then you need to go swipe to confirm flash. I have already flashed it so that I can show you a comprehensive inner look into what you're getting. Yeah, maybe, yeah. May uh, yeah, hopefully I'm showing a comprehensive look. Okay, uh, why am I going into black grabbering? Uh, what am I saying? Okay, go into reboot and hit system. So this is gonna boot your device into whichever ROM you have installed. Uh, like, like I have me UI. So skipping this part. So, once you have booted up, the question that you must ask yourselves: Are you ready? Are you ready to a experience the HTC 10 on a device? Uh, basically, uh, just imagine you are owning a 12,000 rupee phone and you are getting the experience of a 50,000 rupee phone. Okay, I should stop speaking. Okay, so let's quickly go ahead and unlock it. Basically, I have set up the device, I have set everything up so that I, it's easier for me to show you what all apps you get. So, this is the HTC launcher. Uh, this is not any APK, any APK that you would find on the internet. This is in build guys with this zip file that I gave you in the description. Everything works. Everything works over here. Let me just show you. Uh, this is the basic launcher that you get. Uh, as you can see perfect HTC launcher. From here you can like adjust the grid size and you can like arrange in whichever manner you would like your apps to be arranged. Okay going back the most coolest feature of this launcher. Uh, for which HTC has been known for several years swiping right we have blink feed yeah we indeed have blink feed over here it shows you all the feed from whichever social network you want to have a look into from here you can like select from like I have selected Twitter and from here you can look into the highlights of each and everything like you can select Instagram from here it supports Instagram it supports Google Plus 
and yeah, lot of stuff. As you can see, Blink with P picks and news in Hindi. You can select a lot of other things from here about which you would need updates in your daily life, like news. It basically acts like the Google Now, but Google Now is a bit better. Uh, yeah, you have to accept that. So yeah. By pressing the home button, it will take you to the top. As you can see, uh, the Mi 6 has been launched and it looks crazy. Uh, so going back, now I'm going to show you what all apps you get with this Essence UI. Uh, I think that these are the apps which have been put in from Sense 8 or 9 if I'm not wrong. I am, I'm not really aware of the latest version of Sense because who cares, right? Uh, so the first app that I'm going to show you is the weather app. So let's just look at the weather app. So this is the default weather app. So you might be thinking that, oh my God, this looks so blank. And it's not the case. If you press it over here, it will give you the original weather app. So this is the thing. This is the original weather app of HTC. Uh, as I can, as you can see, I have the wallpaper, the widget, everything is from HTC. And if you flash this one zip, you're gonna get everything in that. So I think that's pretty cool. So next thing I'm gonna show you is the clock. So this is the default HTC clock and you get the stopwatch, you get the alarms, you get the world clock and yeah, you know the stuff that clock offers, right? Next up, you get music, HTC music, you have all your songs over here and yeah, it works. Let me just show you, uh, let me just play this maybe, uh, yeah. So as you can see, it indeed, oh wow, I never knew that my speaker was so loud. So as you can see, it indeed is working. Okay, 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 okay. Stop it! Okay. So yeah, that's pretty decent. And the next up, the most interesting feature is the camera. And yeah, this camera works. Unfortunately, I don't really have any objects around line to show you how the quality is. So yeah, I think I have some dry leaves. Like as you can see, I have these dry leaves over here. So let me just try to take a picture. And the camera is so good, it just gives you so much detail. So let me just zoom in and show you. As you can see, it's a perfect picture of these of these small items. It's a perfect picture that has been taken by this camera. I'm not saying that the yeah, as you can see, there is so much detail in this picture, and I am willing to say that it is better than Mi UI 8 camera or any other stock camera that you get. But many people out there will be like going, no, you are wrong, you are saying wrong and so yeah, I am not making any comments. Just I am saying that it's a very good camera and you can definitely, definitely believe it to take some very good pictures. Next up, you get the calendar. So this is the calendar if you are not using Google Calendar, which looks way more better than this, you might be suffering from now. Okay, we have the HTC mail as well. That is also, it comes. If you want to use this, you can adjust your like Gmail account and any other mail account if you have. If you are living in totally another world and still do not have a Google account, uh, you can like, you can do it, whatever. Okay, so there are pretty cool features about the HTC launcher itself. So you get this very cool clock that is a digital analog clock and it shows the real real reality time by seconds and you have this widget uh, basically you can configure this of which of the apps it will show you depending on wherever you are so it's like set for home so it's showing me these apps so if i like can i can select it from here like out or work so let me just select out and it will give me a different set of apps as you can see it just rearrange the apps some it works well uh, it tries to work well i would say but uh, yeah that's about it so you can also select work and want this widget to automatically switch off modes and we can like do it nice features and you can like hit thanks and it also gives you the suggestions of various other tabs uh, apps that you would like to install basically advertisements i would say okay so yeah that's pretty much it and let me just look at the themes you can actually customize the themes from here you can download a lot of themes it's basically like the me ui theme store or the samsung theme store it will customize not a device so as you can see i am using me ui so it's like the normal notification shade not to worry it will not customize any of your system settings like substratum does but uh, this will customize the hcc launcher that you are currently having and the icon packs so you can like uh, add your hcc account or just log in with google or facebook because you're, you are not allowed to uh, download themes without that account so you can like select all over themes and customize each and every aspect of the theme like wallpapers icons sound packs unluckily luckily maybe boot animations are not yet supported 
so i think that is pretty much it okay now we have a set of pretty other apps as well we have gallery we have viper for android fx which comes pre-built so you do not need to flash the zip file that's about it and uh, photo editor also comes and you get scribble which is basically a note taking app i just love this app the animation just i think it does not work on here so too much appreciation okay it does it does and this is just so good you know the the look and feel of this notepad is just so cool you will you will you will li love enjoy the uh, writing on this notepad i'm sorry i'm mumbling a bit uh, actually a lot we have screen recorder the default screen recorder uh, for me ui i don't know why i kept it but i just wanted to show you that with the latest me ui update a very sneak peek from my next video so we have the photo editor inbuilt as well so i think that's about it for the htc launcher and the htc sense ui experience zip uh, this was like the pixel experience zip but except the bull animation and you get a pretty good set of apps which are quite useful in your lifetime so i will not gonna speak much and I'm gonna say so guys that's pretty much it for today I really really am being optimistic that this video was somehow or some way helpful to you or if you just enjoyed this video a bit click that like button drop a like before you leave and do not forget to subscribe to my channel hit that red subscribe button for more such videos on various mods that I keep bringing and of course ROM videos on Redmi Note 3, Euphoria, Mi 5, Android 1 which are gonna come in the coming weeks so do not forget to hit that bell icon because that will notify you every time I come online so that's pretty much it from today stay a freak and stay a geek follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter links will be given in the description box below so until next time peace